Also in the four, don't you get seven days pre-launch because of deluxe edition? Oh my god, I haven't even talked about that. That is such a garbage practice. I, I don't think that's been officially confirmed. That's that's like on those um, that's on those um, what are they called um, polls that they sent out to people, those surveys that they sent out to people, which you know the people leak those even though you know most likely those are correct. It seems like there's going to be early access to Diablo 4 as well. I hate that. I hate whenever games do that. I think that is one of the scummiest things you can do as a game developer is the early access bullshit for getting people to pre-order your game. I think that's scummy as fuck. I think it's even scummier when you paywall that shit, which I think they might do uh, with deluxe editions. Which this is something, by the way, that, you know, the likes of Ubisoft are no strangers to. They do this shit all the fucking time, right? Like every other Ubisoft game is like, oh yeah, buy the special $80 deluxe version and you can get in like three days early. All this like, that is some next level FOMO shit. I fucking hate it. I hate it. I hate when people do it. I think it's an incredibly scummy practice. I really, really fucking do. I think that's an incredibly scummy practice. And by the way, if they do that as a content creator, I'll have to do it as well. Because unfortunately, this is the world that we live in nowadays whenever it comes to content creation about video games. If you want to break through the noise, you have to be the first one jolly on the spot. It's just that simple. As my good friend Sidestrafe once told me, it doesn't matter if you're the worst, so long as you're the first. It's literally that simple. And early access is most definitely a scummy practice. And some people will probably come up and say, but Ruricon, Final Fantasy XIV does that too. Yes, they do. And I think it's pretty scummy of them to do it too. I completely disagree with it. Very much like the same way that they put the Cruise Chaser in the shop. I thought that was a pretty scummy move as well because the Cruise Chaser is a fucking raid boss. An amount from a raid boss should not, I mean, it's not, it doesn't drop from a raid boss, but the mount itself is a raid boss. And I feel like a mount with that amount of significance should actually be in the game. Now, I did buy it, but it was because they gave away like a month for free on the launch of a new expansion, which I thought was a very cool pro-consumer move. Krista Fliss, thank you very much for the souls. Do tip of the hat. I don't remember if I already appreciate, thanked you for that or not, but yeah. But, uh, yeah, dude, the, the whole early access thing, I fundamentally disagree with it. I think it's a super scummy thing to do. It preys on people on a completely different level. And on top of it, particularly when it comes to a game like a Diablo, it is something where it is, in essence, a form of player power. You go, oh, what do you mean? It means you get to play the game. If you have to pay more for it, by the way, uh, because again, we don't know if this is going to be on a deluxe version or if it's a pre-order thing or what it is, but if it is a deluxe version, you are essentially paying for power. What power? The power of time. You get access to the game earlier than everybody else. You're ahead of the pack. That is a fundamental form of power. I don't give a fuck what anybody says. This is just a straight up fact. And I'll hear no other arguments about it because time is is essentially power this is why diablo immortal and lost ark are fundamentally pay to win because you can pay to skip time you can gain the most valuable resource in human history which is time because that is one thing that we all have guaranteed that we're at some point gonna run out of it is time at some point your clock is gonna run out no matter who the fuck you are, no matter what the fuck you do, that's the one guarantee that you can have on your whole life is that your clock at some point runs out. So time is the most valuable currency. And if somebody's going to sit here and tell me, three days early starts, not a big deal. Yes, it is. And it might be three days. It might be seven days. Who the fuck knows how much the early access is going to be? But it is a disgusting fucking practice. And like I said, I disagree. I disagree to that practice on a fundamental level, both when it comes to Diablo, just like it comes to Final Fantasy XIV. And I criticized Final Fantasy XIV on that as well, just like I've criticized Final Fantasy XIV on other things. And I will hear no fucking excuses. No excuses. It is a bullshit FOMO tactic. Period. Period.
period. It's just that simple. Three days at start. Not a big deal. 